when you first load in, you're probably going to want to press pause, which is, I think, by default, the spacebar. And then after that, um, we'll go into it. So we'll skip the story that starts up because you can watch it on your own time. So new home, we need to survive. So fight the coal, stockpile some coal, get the generator started. So right off the bat, press pause. So if we look, we have 50 workers, uh, 15 engineers, and children can't work. So what we can do is right off the bat is build two of the re gathering posts. So what I like to do is I like to put gathering posts in spots that gather the most resources. So like right here, it's going to hit all three. So if you only had it here, you only hit two, but for here, uh, it'll hit all three. So I'm going to put one here and then I'll probably put another one here because this is a good spot for hitting all three. Probably uh, right here. So I think, yeah, if I like line it up right here, it'll be pretty good. Now I'm out of wood. Uh, it's not a big deal. Just gonna start signing people to uh, gather wood, anyways, and that should get us rolling. Make sure everyone's gathering wood. Have some people start gathering metal, but for the most part, uh, you need wood to start. Uh, and the second thing we want to do is figure out which law we want to start. So again, we have 15 children. What we could do is go to adaption. Uh, you could do child labor. That is an option. Um, now it depends if you want to run the story from an RP perspective, where you want to be realistic and say, hey, yeah, everyone needs to pull their fair share. Or you want to do a moral side and provide children shelters or child shelters. In my opinion, uh, the first thing you should start off is not either of these, but rather soup. Now, some people might argue, okay, well, isn't food added is better? Well, if you look, uh, they could be more filling, um, but they will get sick. So it's not good in the long run. So in my opinion, to make your food stretch out longer, soup is better. Uh, discontent will rise slightly, but it's nothing you can't fix with a fighting arena or a public house. So right off the bat, I choose soup. I think it's the best one. So I'm going to go with soup. And then from here, this is pretty much all you can do. Uh, so go ahead and unpause it and let them do their thing. You can see we're already getting wood. Um, you can do these tutorials. You can look at them, see what they do. They just teach you how to move the camera, all that fun stuff. How to pan, how to move it. Uh, but you can do that in the free time. But for now. Uh, so now we're going to build our roads because these buildings will not function without roads. So let's build a road here. Slightly off, was I? I don't know. I can't tell. Let's see. A uh, little bit. Kind of. I don't, I don't know. Anyways, so the road needs to be completely connected to the generator for it to function. So keep going. As you see, our wood is going up a lot, which is good. We want it. Uh, we also want to build a workshop. So I'm going to start getting a workshop the bat. So build a workshop here. Because I like to, you can't move this building. This stockpiled building has to stay here. So when I'm planning a building or a city, I guess, I like to put the first ring as houses. Uh, the reason for that is because houses can't heat themselves. Or I shouldn't say houses, I should say tents. Tents, uh, are these things so basically the things that people sleep in you can't heat tents you can't heat bunk they're called bunk beds or bunk houses i think i can't see it. bunk houses and houses so you can use a steam hub but we don't have that right now so what we can do is put the houses in the first ring uh, and make them happy so we built our first one. I'm actually, because engineers are very scarce, I'm going to put the engineers in here because the temperature in here is higher. So they're very, they have a very low risk of falling ill. Whereas if you, if they were working here, 
they have a, very, they have a low risk of falling, but it's much higher than very low. So, so here we have a problem. Uh, no roof is our head. So this is one thing where you have to make sure that when you come up with a problem like this, that you can either do it or you can't do it or you can partially do it. So for example, this one, I'll provide some shelter. You have two days to provide shelter for 40 people. Um, maybe you could do that. If you can't, great, like this one. Uh, but maybe you could do this one too. You have two days to provide shelter for 80 people. The difference between this one and this one is that this one will provide more ward, uh, but this one has a higher risk, or not higher risk, but a higher consequence. So if you don't do it, uh, both hope will fall and discontent will rise. But not as bad as if you failed this one, it'll only go slightly. This one only did discontent will slight rise slightly. So if you can't do either of them, just play it safe and just do this one. But I know for a fact because we have a hundred and something wood, uh, and it only takes ten wood to build the tent. I know I can do this one, and so for me it's a pretty clear choice. I'll go with this one. So I'm gonna provide shelter for everyone. So I'll do that right now. Well, let's see what else they want. Oh, thank you. So I'm going to go ahead and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight. Um, that's all we need because 80 homeless. Uh, I can fill the rest with houses, um, but I haven't done that yet just in case we need to put medical tents here. So we also have our research now. So I'm going to put the engineers that were over here into here now. So for our first research, um, Chill isn't going to be an issue until about day four. So uh, negative four Fahrenheit obviously be bad uh, in any case, but since this is a game, negative four degrees isn't that bad at all. That's it's pretty good. So it's like one of the lowest. So in my opinion, um, I think fast gathering is better because we're trying to make sure everyone can get uh, gathering quickly. Uh, another thing we need to do over here is do this and that and put them back on so I'm going to select faster gathering and they'll do that let's see what else I got to say heating is off we must gather coil first so if they're saying consider signing the emergency shift lock so if you just press a course nothing happens but if you select this one it's going to bring up here and says hey sign this one so that way we can start working I can't sign it because there's a cooldown of three more hours um, considering that I don't have any medical issues and no one has died, uh, discontent isn't an issue, uh, child labor um, could be used. So basically right now the two options in my opinion are either this one or this one. Um, I'll probably lean towards this one because extended shift is also really good. Uh, emergency shift just means they work for 24 hours, but discontent will rise, so that's when fighting arena will probably have to come into play. Uh, but for now, I'm going to close it because I can't do anything. So, after here, I'm going to speed things up because all they're going to do is just build houses and become less content. Or I think, yeah, discontent should go down once they build their houses. So, let's just speed it up a bit. And discontent went down. But now you can see the sick start going up. So that's where medical posts will come in. So I think uh, putting two medical posts right here and here uh, is pretty good. <sighs> so they're going to build the medical posts. Um, another thing that's good is that we have 100 raw food. We should also probably get a cookhouse going. So I think I will put my first cookhouse right here. Because it's kind of out of the way. So the thing, the reason why I placed it here is because the cookhouse can actually use a heater. So I'm not too concerned about it. Additionally, um, the heating range on this isn't very high. So even if I did put it right here, it's not going to reach until I get level 2. So I don't have level 2 yet. So I just got a new law, so I'm going to select uh, Emergency Shift. I think Emergency Shift is a good one to have, uh, just to kind of get more resources going at the beginning. Um, 
people will find that one upsetting. Uh, rightfully so, I get it. Um, as soon as, so I'm going to take off five engineers and five workers off here, and I'm going to reassign the workers to here because it's safer to work because it's a higher uh, livable area. So once these start, once these finish, um, I'm going to put uh, five engineers in there. Now I would see, I only have four sick or five sick total. Looks like. So I'm waiting for. Once this goes to six, or this goes to five, and this goes to one, that means I have to open up this one. But for now, uh, I'm just waiting for this guy to go to treatment for now. I'm pretty sure he's building something. So, so now that that's done, I'm going to just take only two, and I'm going to put them here, but I'm also going to make it so it's go to soup. The reason for soup is because that's the first thing we chose in the Book of Law. Um, it's going to stretch out our raw food much longer, so that way we don't have to worry about uh, gathering food for now. <coughs> so, once that is done, um, we're about to go into work time, so I'm going to speed things up. So, what's nice is that they start walking towards their work areas before the work time of 8 o'clock, um, just to be more efficient. So now that they're working, um, so is our engineers. So now they are researching faster gathering. Um, so now the cookhouse is working. It seems that one person is sick. So it looks like, yeah, they are in treatment. Um, it is what it is, but now we are making food rations. So that's important because it's going to stretch out our food, our raw food supply uh, quite a bit. So. It looks like it's already getting eaten up pretty quickly. Uh, they're pretty hungry. Uh, family torn apart. Just a little thing uh, from the story. They're just telling you their story. Um, so the next step is I usually like to take away all these supplies here. Um, additionally, I'll probably build another. Uh, gathering posts uh, near this coal so the reason for that is we start we need to start gathering coal uh, for this time because it's gonna get cold pretty quickly hot cold cold so go ahead and build a road to it and since so i'm pretty sure oh never mind i'm probably wrong but i was gonna say i'm pretty sure since everyone's working uh, it won't be built, but I just got proven wrong. So, I think a good next step would probably be... I think... Eh, I think beacons is good. So, I'm going to go ahead and start building a beacon. Uh, I'm also... I like to use my gathering posts as and this is just how i play but as like defining roads for my city so because there's a gathering post here i'm gonna have a road that goes this way so when when i'm able to build my uh, beacon i'm gonna build it on one of these roads because it's already pre-existing to go to this so it's just utilizing space in a more efficient way um you could probably plan it a lot more differently, uh, but that's just how I play it. So now that it looks like some of our wood crates have been depleted, uh, that's expected. Uh, probably going to take these guys. So since this wood crate was depleted, now we have 15 freed up people. Um, so with that being said, I'm probably actually going to build some hunter's huts because the hunter's huts are very important uh, they build us they get us food so i'm gonna build a hunter hut here and here right next to uh, the road so that way it utilizes the road um, and also we need to start thinking about food because even though we had a good amount of food about 100 
Uh, it can only stretch so far when you start thinking of other things. Heating is off. So uh, this is when people start worrying. Also, since the heating is not on, um, people are going to start getting cold. Uh, that's why we had people getting sick during the night. More people are more likely to get sick at night. Um, so I immediately jumped to, uh, in my opinion, uh, extended shift. I think extended shift uh, is pretty good. Um, it will it will cause some discontent, but um, to me it's worth it. So I'm going to make it so that uh, the workshop, because research is king in this game, I'm going to make it so the the workshop is working a longer shift. <sighs> so now we got our first hunter's hut, and so the nice thing about hunter's huts is their heating level is really high. They have a base heating level of two, I believe. So if I check, yeah, base heating level two compared to you know a cook house which has one, a tent that has one, a uh, medical post has one. This has two, so um, hunters' huts and tech workshops have two. So they make it so, and you you can just kind of read right here. Um, I can't click on it, but building installation too. So I believe when it starts getting colder, uh, depending on your level of temperature, uh, you know, the numerical numbers on the left over there, it will say if it's comfortable, if it's livable, if it's chilly, cold, very cold, and then freezing. And at those different levels, you will start experiencing uh, faster rates of sickness. Uh, you can see right here, so it prevents falling ill, very low risk, low risk, moderate risk, high risk of falling ill, low risk of becoming gravely ill, uh, high risk of falling ill, small risk of requiring an amputation. So obviously you want to avoid this side and stick to this side. And doing so, or to do so, you can just build stuff like this, a gathering post. Gathering posts provide uh, insulation, whereas if they were just working uh, here, uh, no insulation, so it's just a flat chili. And keep in mind, this is still at negative 4 degrees Fahrenheit. So once you get to colder temperatures, uh, gathering uh, supplies just out in the open, it's probably not a good idea. But for now, we could probably get away for it, with it, but as you can see, our, grave, our sick are starting to rise, so I'm going to turn this thing on. I'm actually going to transfer a few of our engineers from here. We're actually here. Here. I'm going to take these guys and put them over here and put these engineers here. Just because I want to get our people back to working. So these guys are going to go eat. Looks like this guy's, this person is sick. Fortunate. Uh, but we're going to make them better. So for now, I'm going to turn these off. Um, I'm not using them just yet, but I like to have the, the buildings there. Uh, I was planning on using this one if this one runs out here pretty shortly. Actually, so what you could do, uh, it's not as efficient, but since these people are working at night from eight, 1800 to 0600, once they come back, once this so once this circle fills up completely, that's when you'll get your food. So you want to wait until this circle completely fills up, then you can pull these people off and then reassign them to work day work. Which I think the only downside is that you'll see that you know they're probably going to go eat, they're going to go rest, or you know something like that. So it's not a hundred percent efficient, um, but it is better than nothing. So fast forward, we could see that once this hits. Once this ring closes, uh, we'll see the food pop up. So boom, see the food popped up. Also this uh, finished. So I'm going to start researching um, Hunter's Gear. I think Hunter's Gear is good just to start getting more food. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So now that the food's here, I'm going to pull these people off and I'm going to reassign them to this work post as well as this work post. Um, but as you can see, they're going to go rest after the hunt. So. That's just what happens. Uh, like I said, it's not 100% efficient, but um, we make do with what we have, so.
So now that these people are back, I'm going to take them off. And I'm going to go place them here. I'm going to go place them here. So. Now, the question is if that they're actually going to get there in time. Because I think, yeah, they're all going to be resting after the hunt. Uh, it's already 14, 1400, so I don't know if we're going to get any luck with these guys or people. Um, so, considering the consider signing the child labor law. Uh, so, depends on who you ask. Um, I used to be, when I first started, I thought, okay, having more workers is better. But now that I played more, I found that actually having uh, engineer apprentices is far more beneficial. So at the beginning, this is great, but child shelters in the end is probably the more moral choice as well as um, more efficient in the end. So if you're struggling in the beginning, uh, this is probably a safer bet uh, if you're if you're more experienced um i would say go with this one so i'm going to sign this one um it also gives a permanent help bonus too so i think to this one yeah child workers can be injured in accidents uh, hope will fall slightly but i'm not sure if it's a permanent negative boon but it seems that this is a permanent help bonus so i'm going to ahead and sign this one uh and then build it because uh, it'll make people happy. So, so that this is another thing. So I recently found this out, but when you're building, you can actually rotate the buildings by pressing the middle mouse button. So this has saved me a lot of uh, a lot of issues just by rotating a building easily. So for here, I'm probably going to place it. Mm, make things line up easily uh, because I know how the heat is going to work around this thing. I'm going to place it sideways even though this would make it line up nice and neat. Um, I'm going to place it here like this because the heat is not going to hit this back part. Uh, not to say that it won't heat it but uh, it's wasted space. It's not as efficient because I'll probably end up moving this building away but for now I'm just going to build this here and then I'm also going to build our beacon. And I'm probably going to place it. Uh, probably going to place it over here because a beacon doesn't need to be near the center of the town. There's no one. Even though it says chilly, there's no one assigned to it. Um, it's it's kind of just its own thing. It's like a you know think of it as like a stockpiles or the generator. Uh, there's no one assigned to it, so you don't have to worry about sickness with it. So uh, here's another thing. So we have four sickness. So now that means um, our engineers have no patience here. So I'm going to take off these engineers. Or actually, I'm going to close this one down uh, because I know these engineers are sick. And so the patients should have transferred over here. It looks like they did. Uh, so with that being said... It looks like the workers did show up, but uh, at the very last second. So what I like to do is I like to build two, and actually three, but for now I'm just going to put two. So I'm going to do another research. I'm actually going to go start doing drawing boards and start uh, researching tier, tier one items. Um, we are going to get to the point where we need a sawmill. Um, actually, let's probably... Because I think, yeah, we're going to start experiencing cold here pretty soon. So let's actually uh, research heaters. Because the heaters are going to be an issue uh, to keep things warm. Especially this uh, medical tent. So now that we have coal, we can turn on the heater. Or the generator, I shouldn't say heater. We can turn on the generator. It will make people happier. They are in livable conditions. I'm saving the coal because this is going to go down two levels. So I'm saving my coal uh, until it's really needed. Because um, for now, they're... I don't want to say they're cruising, but it's its comfortable, I should say. So I'm Now I'm going to go reassign these people back to the... Uh, 
the hunters hunt. Let's see, they're gonna go. So some people are gonna go eat. Some people are preparing for the hunt. Uh, like I said, it's not 100% efficient, but this is how uh, we get the most out of the limited amount of workers that we have. So children care for hope raises. So if we go over hope, uh, permanent modifiers. Every child has a place in a child shelter. The heating is off. People will be afraid of, they'll freeze to death in their sleep if you don't at least turn it on for the night. I think they'll be fine. Um, no one is gravely in, uh, gravely sick. Um, I'm more concerned about the cold when it drops down two levels. And it's not going to get better for another two days. So, um, And I'm not too comfortable with the amount of coals I'm getting. So we can actually check that. So I know for now that we're ha we have zero. Uh, but you can actually check how much you are getting, so your coal balance. So right here it says gain to zero and then consume to zero. Uh, once we turn on that generator, it's obviously going to go up or negative for the because we're consuming more than we're gaining. Eventually, I'll probably have to just shut one of these down and keep them constantly in coal. Or hopefully, uh, looks by, by the next day, they should clear up this one. And yeah, definitely by tomorrow, they should clear up this one. So uh, so now that this is built, um, I'm going to assign them here because I think that, um, I believe, I forgot how the bonus works, but I think uh, building one workshop is 100%. Building two is 130. And then building three is 150%. And then building four is 160 can't remember though. So we built the beacon. The beacon's gonna allow us to build scouts and check out the surrounding areas for supplies, for survivors. Um, it's gonna give us this little cutscene. So now we can see. Okay, we can't. We we have to build a scout though. So so we need five workers. 